Top 10 Greatest Boxes in Africa of All Time Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the top 10 greatest African boxes of all time. One of the most popular sports of the world has boasted a number of African boxers who have been labeled as part of the boxing greats. Since Africa is a land of strength and valor, it only makes sense that many high quality champion boxers have come out of this region. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. With powerful jabs, threading rolls and earth shattering punches, these are the top 10 greatest African boxers of all time. Number 10. Welcome Msida, South Africa. Total fights 44, wins 40, draws 1. Welcome Sita, born 25th October 1965, is a retired professional boxer and former IBF Super Batam weight champion. Nsita was born in Mdatane, South Africa. Known as a hawk, Nsita turned professional in 1984 and in 1990, he captured the International Boxing Federation Super Bantamweight title with a victory over Fabrice Benichu in a boat that took place in Tel Aviv. Nsita defended the title six times before losing it to Kennedy McKinney in 1992. He lost a rematch by decision to McKinney in 1994 a fight in which McKinney was knocked down in round 5 when Sita's left eye swelled short midway through the boat. After a strong professional boxing career, Sita retired in 1998. Number 9. Cornelius Edwards, Uganda. Total fights 53, wins 45, draws 1. Cornelius Boza Edwards, born Cornelius Mboza on the 27th of May 1956, is a former WBC super featherweight champion of the world. Boza Edwards was born in Kampala, Uganda, and fought in both the super featherweight and lightweight divisions. Boza Edwards immigrated from Uganda to England, where he lived for a long period. He now lives in the United States, where he trains other boxers. He turned professional in 1976 with Mickey Dove as his manager and George Francis as his trainer. He won his first nine fights before suffering a loss to Des William, where he suffered a cut eye. He then went on an 18-fight winning streak and was offered a fight as a substitute against Alexis Aguilo. He put up a spirited performance before being retired by his corner at the end of the 8th round. Aguelo praised Boza Edwards and said that he thought that he would become the champion after he had moved up in weight to the lightweight division. The winner of the WBC World Junior Lightweight title of 1981, he has fought several world champions such as Chacon and Rolando Navarrete. He has 34 knockouts under his belt out of a total of 45 wins. Number 8. Corey Sanders, South Africa Total fights 46, wins 42, draws 0. Cornelius Johannes Corey Sanders, active from 7th of January 1966 to the 23rd of September 2012, was a South African professional boxer who competed from 1989 to 2008. He won the WBO heavyweight title in 2003 after knocking out Vladimir Klitschko in two rounds, which was considered one of the biggest upsets in heavyweight boxing history. He also held the WBU heavyweight title from 1997 until 2000. Sanders' other notable achievements including holding the South Africa national heavyweight title in 1991, defeating former Curzo weight champions Carlos de Leon and Bobby Chizai by first round and second round knockout respectively, and losing in a close slog first fight with future on Unified and two-time world heavyweight champion Hazim Rashman, as both Rathman and Sanders both knocked out each other down during the bout and Sanders was ahead on the judges' scorecards prior to the stoppage. Nicknamed the sniper, Sanders was a southpaw with a long reach and was known for carrying formidable knockout power in his straight left hand. Vladimir Klitschko labeled Sanders the hardest puncher he ever faced in a December 2014 interview with Ring Magazine saying, I've been in boxing for 25 years and I never fought anybody in this game that punched like Corey Sanders. Hasim Rashman said of Sanders following their match, I've never been hit that hard in my life. Unfortunately, the heroic boxer died in a hospital in the early hours of the 23rd of September 2012 after being shot during an armed robbery where he was shot in the stomach while trying to defend his daughter. Number 7. Francois Botha, South Africa. Total fights 65, wins 48, draws 3. Francois Franz Botha, born 28 September 1968, is a South African former professional boxer and kickboxer. Nicknamed the White Buffalo in boxing, he competed from 1990 to 2014 and is perhaps best known for winning the IBF World Heavyweight Champion title against Axel Schutz in 1995 in Germany. But he was later stripped of his title when he tested positive for steroids. He later challenged twice for World Heavyweight titles in 2000 and 2002. 
both has competed against former heavyweight champions Mike Tyson, Vladimir Klitschko, Lennox Lewis, Michael Moura and late in their respective careers Evander Holyfield. With his track record, it is no surprise he's one of Africa's best boxers of all time. Number 6. John Mugabe, Uganda. Total fight 50, wins 42, draws 1. John Mugabe, born March 4, 1960, is a Ugandan former professional boxer who competed from 1980 to 1991 and 1996 to 1999. He held the WBC Super Welterweight title from 1989 to 1990 and challenged twice for world titles at middleweight, including the undisputed championship. Mugabe was part of an exponentially talented group of light middleweights and middleweights during a golden era of the 1980s, which included Marvin Hagler. Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Haynes, Wilfred Benitez, Daphne Moore, and Roberto Duran. As an amateur, Mugabe won a silver medal in the welterweight division at the 1980 Summer Olympics and was the only medalist for Uganda at the event. He is listed number 38 on the Ring Magazine's list of 100 greatest punches of all time. Commonly dubbed the beast by fans and experts alike, John Mugabe is arguably one of the best boxers Africa has produced. Winning a silver medal at the 1980s Summer Olympics in Moscow, he turned professional on December 5, 1980 and went on to have an inspiring professional career. Number 5. Vic Tawil, South Africa. Total fight 32, wins 28, draws 1. Victor, Vic Anthony Tawil, active between 12 January 1928 and 15 August 2008, was a South African boxer and former undisputed world batam weight champion. He was the first South African to hold a world title. Tawil was a very successful amateur, winning Springbok colors with an unbelievable record of 188 wins with only 2 losses, 160 by knockout. He won East Rand, Transvaal and SA Junior and Senior titles from 1941 to 1948 and was number 1 choice for the 1948 Olympic team. He made his professional debut on 29 January 1949, stopping Johannes Landman in the second round, the same night his brother Jimmy won the national lightweight title. Two wins inside the distance over Herbie, Andre, and Carla Person followed and so did a successful career. In his fourth professional fight, Tawi won the SA Batam Weights title when veteran Jimmy Webster was disqualified in the third round for holding. In his ninth fight, he became the SA Featherweight champion. He captured the British Empire's Batam Weight title in his 11th fight. On 31st May 1950, in his 14th fight at the age of 21, he won the World Batam Weight Championship. Fighting using nicknames including Dynamite, Benoni's Mighty Mouse, the Benoni Buzo, and the Mighty Henry Armstrong. For his constant attack fighting style, Tyro beat world Batamweight champion Manuel Ortiz, who was recognized as one of the greatest Batamweight champions of all time. A drastically weight weakened Vic was dethroned by Australian Jimmy Carotis in his fourth title defense. After years of battling with his weight and only two months short of his 27th birthday, he decided to hang up his gloves with a professional record of 28-3-1. Number 4. Brian Mitchell, South Africa. Total fight 49, wins 45, draws 3. Brian Mitchell, born 30th August 1961 in Johannesburg, South Africa, is a former professional boxer. Mitchell turned pro in 1981 and captured the WBA and Lineal Junior Lightweight titles in 1986 with a 10th round KO over Alfredo Lane. Due to South Africa's apartheid policy during those times, the WBA ruled that Mitchell's title defenses were not to be held in South Africa. Mitchell then became a true road warrior, defending his title 12 times abroad, hence creating a record. Mitchell was a busy fighter who relentlessly came forward, throwing a high number of punches to his opponent's head and body. Mitchell always entered his fights in a peak physical condition and it was usually this dedication that earned him his victories. Considered to be the best South African boxer of all time by some experts, he retired in 1991 and came back briefly in 1994 for two local bouts, retiring completely in 1995 with a professional record of 45-1-3, avenging his loss and three draws in rematches and therefore being one of the few champions to beat everyone they faced. Number 3 I.K. Kwate, Ghana, total fight 42, wins 37, draws 1. Isufo I.K. Kwate, born 27th November 1969, is a Ghanaian former professional boxer who competed from 1988 to 2006. He held the WBA World to Weight title from 1994 to 1998 and challenged once for IBF Junior Middleweight title in 2000. Kwate turned professional in 1988 
a day short of his 19th birthday. He started his boxing career under the guidance of Yufi Boham, without doubt the most successful manager in Ghana, and also father-in-law of former world boxing champion Azuma Nelson. Boham got Kwati recognized as a boxer on the international scene. Boham managed Kwati alongside Alfred the Cobra, Koti, and gave them the names Bazooka and Cobra. Kwati began his professional career with a second round knockout of Mama Muhammad. Most of Kwati's early fights were staged in Ghana before he relocated to France. Kwati's best weapon was his jab, which was considered to be one of the best in boxing while he was in his prime. He primarily relied on a peak abu or clamshell defense which consisted of him allowing punches to land on his arms, elbows and gloves which he kept held tightly to his cheeks and ribcage. Knocking out Chris Santo, a spanner of Venezuela in the 11th round, Isufu Ike Kwati held a WBA World to World title from 1994 to 1998. Number 2. Dick Tiger, Nigeria. Total fight 82, wins 60, draws 3. Dick Tiger, born Richard Ihetu, active between August 14, 1929 and December 14, 1971, was a Nigerian-born professional boxer who held the world middleweight and world light heavyweight championships. Tiger emigrated to Liverpool, England to pursue his boxing career and later to the United States. Tiger was Igbo and served as a lieutenant in the Biafran army during the Nigerian Civil War, primarily training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Tiger was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1991. The Ring magazine named him Fighter of the Year in 1962 and 1965, while the Boxing Writers Association of America named him the Fighter of the Year in 1962 and 1966. In the year 2002, Tiger was voted by the Ring magazine as the 31st greatest fighter of the last 8 years. Dick Tiger is perhaps one of the greatest African boxers the world has seen but unfortunately the fighter died of liver cancer in 1971. Number 1. Azuma Nelson, Ghana, total fights 47, wins 39, draws 2. Azuma Nelson, born 19th July 1958, is a Ghanaian former professional boxer who competed from 1979 to 2008. He was a two-weight world champion, having held the WBC featherweight title from 1984 to 1987 and the WBC super featherweight title twice between 1988 and 1997. He also challenged once for the unified WBC and IBF lightweight titles in 1990. At regional level, he held the ABU, a Commonwealth featherweight titles between the 1980 and 1982. Widely considered one of the greatest African boxers of all time, he is currently ranked as the 31st greatest pound-for-pound -pound boxer of all time by BoxRec. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 best boxers in Africa of all time. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.